Hey there, Logdog321 for Vacbin.com, and today we're going to be using the Shark Sonic Duo on carpet. So first thing we're going to want to do, if we want to use the Sonic Duo, is get everything we need. Now in this case, for carpet, you're going to need this, which is the storage tray, the Sonic Duo, the uh, a vacuum, in this case I'm going to be using my Kirby G3, um, you're also going to need the solution, which I showed you how to mix. If you need to know how to mix this, uh, you can take a look at one of my previous videos. It should be like the Shark Sonic Duo solution mixing or formula mixing. If you just look at my channel, you'll find it. Um, you're going to need that. And you're going to want to use the one with a purple top, because purple is for carpet. And I'll show you that in a second. You're going to want the uh, pre-treater, and you are going to want your pad. Now, mine came with two pads. This pad right here is the standard carpet pad, and uh, it's purple on the sides. Uh, that's pretty much all I can say about it, but it also came with another pad. Now, this is going to be your spot scrubby pad. See, this look, kind of looks like a spaghetti-ish, scrubby, scrubby stuff. And that doesn't really make sense, but whatever. We shall see how it works. And in fact, the spot we're going to test it on is right there. Um, our dog had a little bit of an uh, incident, I guess you could say, in which he made a mess on the carpet. So... That's been there for about three months, and we shall see what we can do. But first thing you're going to want to do with the Sonic Duo is you're going to want to make sure you vacuum the area. So let's put all the stuff to the side. And we're going to want to vacuum the area very thoroughly. So in this case, we're going to want to pull the Kirby. Make sure we go very slowly, get all the dirt we can, and we just really want to get the area as clean as possible. vacuumed. Now we're going to pull the uh, Kirby off the side. And we're going to get out the Sonic Duo. And first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to take the pre-treater here and you're going to spray all your high traffic areas and spots. Now you're going to want to make sure that you turn the top to the on position, and here we go. And there we go. 
We have now pre-treated the dirty areas. And next, we need to, I probably should pull this back so you can see exactly what I'm going to do. You're going to want to do a couple things. First, you need to take your purple bottle, turn it upside down, and push down. You hear that click? That means that it is in the Sonic Duo properly. Next up, you're going to want to take your carpet pad, now not the scrubby pad, this is just going to be your standard carpet pad, and place it on the floor. Now if you look on the bottom, this side says front. I'm not sure if you could see that, but uh, you can see it from here, it says front. And also the tag that says step here is going to be in the back. Put that down, and give me one second, and I will be plugging in the machine here in just a moment. This is going to be the first use of this machine, so let's take a look at what we're going to do. Just want to double check that I'm doing everything correctly, and according to the instruction booklet, I am. So, I'm going to plug this in and make sure the machine is turned off first, which is going to be the zero position. The machine is now plugged in. Let's make sure that I've got enough recording time. And I do. You're going to want to place the machine onto the scrubbing pads, like that. You're going to want to move the tray off to the side for now. Now you need to switch to setting 2, and let's make sure that you can see all this, because I'm going to start over there. Actually, let's start over in that corner, which is going to be the farthest corner. So you're going to want to switch the machine to setting 2, which is going to be the higher torque setting. When you turn it on, the lights will turn on, on the headlights, to show you that it's ready. And uh, I'm going to want to pull back. You're going to want to put your foot on the back and pull back to start it. And you're just going to press down on the black button to start squirting out the, the solution. I must say it's actually quite easy to uh, maneuver. They got the air glide technology, according to Shark, that makes it very easy to maneuver, and I can say from uh, use right now that it is quite easy to move. So here we are, we're scrubbing the carpet right now, and let's double check that you guys can all see that. So now I sprayed all the solution down. Let's do our next pass. Now you can see it does have the uh, swiveling technology that uh, Shark is well known for. And as you can see, it's getting all in there and doing, it looks like a good job. I haven't seen the, any dirt really come out of it yet, but uh, we'll see in a second when I've done this already. So let's go over here with this, and let's see if we can get out this little spot. Let's make sure you guys can see this, there we go. little spot here I'm trying to get out, but we'll go over the spots with a little scrubby pad, so
So let's take a look at the bottom of the pads and see if any dirt. Not really much coming up. There's some dog hair, but uh, that seems to be pretty normal. Let's just keep scrubbing this area right here. Oh, that's nice. If, it, if you go all the way back, it'll automatically stop so that if it falls over, it won't keep scrubbing your floor. That's a nice feature right there. There are some other manufacturers of floor cleaning products which can learn from that. And let's adjust the camera here. And let's go over to this section of the top. So now Sharp claims that this will get my carpets 1.5 times brighter. And uh, I will believe it when I see it, because right now I don't really see much going on. But Shark has a very good track record, at least for me. I've never had any problems with Shark products. They've all seemed to do a pretty good job. I mean, some do work better than others. But let's just keep scrubbing all this in. Let's double check my recording time. Okay. It's actually very lightweight when you go to use it. Uh, they did do a very good job of making sure that it didn't um, feel heavy. It's a lot actually lighter than most carpet cleaning machines, the hot water extraction method machines. Well, let me make sure my camera doesn't fall over. Well, let's go do the high traffic area, shall we? And my camera power cord seemed to have fallen off there, but here we are. So the carpet is moist, it's being scrubbed right now, haven't seen any results yet, but uh, it's still early. They say it takes two hours for it to dry and then be done, but uh, let's show you scrubbing the spot right down there. The spot seems to have, uh, I can't really see it, at least I can't see it as easily. I'm not sure if it's just because of the uh, way the pile is right now, or if it's actually getting it out.
that is pretty much it. We just went over every piece of the carpet. Let's see. Here's the pad. So you can see here, you could see... No, it's just water. Um, looks a little bit dirty. But mostly just dog hair. Um, so in this case, the proof might not be in the pad. Uh, we'll give it two hours to dry, and we'll come back with the results. Uh, this has been Logdog321 for VacBin.com, showing the Sonic Duo, the Shark Sonic Duo, on carpet. So we will make another video in two hours about what happens after it dries. Thanks for watching.